So Judge James McCain, or James Cain approved the request from Republican-led states to lift the pause of LNG exports while litigation against it is being played out. How does LNG exports help Louisiana's economy in that sense? Uh, Judge Cain points out that $61 billion of projects are pending in Louisiana. $61 billion. Imagine the good-paying jobs associated with those $61 billion worth of projects. Now imagine the permanent jobs that are going to come afterwards. Imagine all the pipelines and all the natural gas um, exploration being done to get the gas there in the first place. That benefits our economy up and down. By the way, it benefits us another way. It benefits us in that if countries elsewhere are buying our natural gas, they're sending their money to us, and that helps our whole country's economy. And one more thing, since our natural gas is so clean burning, if they are burning our natural gas instead of their coal, or Russia's natural gas, and they pollute all over the place, then it's also good for the environment, which helps Louisiana. This helps Louisiana all over the place. Gotcha. And so uh, two acts that you're um, behind and the author of, which are the Unlocking Domestic LNG Potential Act, as well as the LNG Security Act. And a lot of uh, Republican senators as well are on board with this as well. Uh, one of them will go into the Unlocking Domestic LNG Potential Act. This one depoliticized or politicized, excuse me, LNG exports. And this one gives uh, FERC the con or control over authorizing those LNG exports instead of the Department of Energy. Why is this something that not only Louisiana needs, but for the country as a whole? The, so the Department of Energy has become a political organization. The Biden administration says, oh, we got to shore up our votes because we're behind in the polls and they'll do something for their environmental left. Uh, that's not the way it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be neutral. FERC can be political, but it's not nearly as political as the Department of Energy. Uh, so, and that, well, how does that benefit Louisiana? Uh, if they put a pause just because Biden's behind in the polls, did I mention there's $61 billion in projects that are on pause in our state and how many jobs are going to be created, building, constructing, uh, but also permanently employed at these facilities? It's tremendous. And so when they put a pause on these projects in violation of the law, that hurts our state, hurts our people. And one final thing for you. Um, so there has been a lot of controversy on if this is safe for Louisiana, if this is something that, you know, is going to make our economy even better. You had mentioned it's 61 million jobs. Billion. Of, billion. Billion. $61 billion yes. in investment. Yes. So if, if you can describe in a sense what this would do without, like if we didn't have the, the, any of these exports in Louisiana, if we didn't have any of these projects that are going on, how much that would hurt the economy in this state as well as the country? Um, it, it just takes, put it, in, put it in the kind of setting of that family trying to make ends meet. And the husband gets a call, hey, listen, we need you. You're a welder and we'll pay you uh, for, you know, three years of work if you come down here. All of a sudden they have financial certainty for that family. Well, that family is going to pay taxes. They're going to buy groceries. They're going to buy gasoline, all of which helps somebody else be employed, all of which, frankly, you pay gas tax whenever you buy gasoline. Um, that all helps our state, and it just kind of ripples out. So when the federal government, when the Biden administration puts a pause against the law on one of these projects being built, they stop that process. The family doesn't pay taxes. They have more financial uncertainty. Um, they may leave the state. Uh, People fight in their marriages because of a lack of money. Kids, you know, marriages break up. We can imagine all the terrible things, but it's better to imagine the good things. And the good things are you create those kind of jobs. People do better. Our state does better. Our country does better.